o'clock and it was already like, whew, it's warm. So we are seeing some 90s out there already in some of the valleys. Now, some of the excessive heat warnings have even been extended into Thursday for areas like the deserts. Otherwise, some will expire Wednesday. We might see them continue into Thursday, though, because we're just not expecting too many changes until we get into this weekend. So we have another week of this heat wave continuing on through the work week, and then we will get into the weekend. And that's when we can expect and look forward to some relief. So you see all Get your heavy-duty 100% cotton Balco PC t-shirt like these guys. Just send your HD video. And if you use it on our channel, you get a free shirt. Show. Woodland Hills is already 95 degrees. It's 90 in Chino, Covina 90 degrees, and uh, not too far behind over in Ontario at 89. Outside. So it is all feeling hot. As soon as we have this huge ridge, a high pressure that's extending way far north, but it's centered right over Nevada. And then tomorrow and Wednesday, it's actually going to shift to the east a little bit, which will be a better setup for us to get some of that monsoon weather. So, so well, looking we're still into later this afternoon, we're going to see a little today. bit of it pop Let's up. Uh, we still continue to see some showers. Then we'll head into tonight. It looks like it continues on. Then we go into Tuesday. Isolated showers continue on into Wednesday, too. It looks like those chances might decrease a bit as Work we head into Thursday. Thursday. We'll get down to 105. Uh, either way, 10 to 20 percent shot of some thunderstorms there, finally by Sunday. And that's going to be the big story. Now, the second is going to be the potential for some monsoonal weather. And you see a little bit of shower activity that just popped up in the last minute or so over into about Big 15 Bear. to 20 miles per hour. Hour. But uh, the biggest factor is going to be the heat that could be driving any fires here over the next several days. So we are still dealing with the increased fire damage. Danger. And that's due to those high temperatures. Not looking likely that we'll see any advisories issued, but we could for a couple isolated spots. Now, it's a hot start. We are already we just don't have too many clouds left over at the coastline at all. It's already close to 80 degrees there in Riverside, so we're already seeing some of those 90s pop up. We have several more days of some very hot weather, so we'll talk about how much longer this heat wave's going to last in just a little bit. Philip, I will send it back to you for now. Okay.